presentation, a high efficient patch rectenna that can be used in RF energy harvesting systems is introduced. First, RF energy harvesting is defined. Advantages and challenges of this method is investigated. Then, the proposed rectenna and design procedure associated with that is introduced. There are enormous of RF sources around us that can be captured and utilized instead of letting them to be wasted. The process of capturing these RF power from different sources and converting them into the usable DC voltage is known as RF energy harvesting. By using this method, there is no need to use battery to feed low power devices, such as different kinds of sensor and other IoT devices. It can benefit the system since it brings lots of advantages to the system. It's cost effective and eco friendly, and there is no need to maintenance anymore. But there is a problem with this method low power density of ambient RF signals that can affect the efficiency of the whole system. Power conversion efficiency is known as the most parameter of RF energy harvesters. It will be investigated in the next slides. As you see in this figure, a RF energy harvester system consists of different sections. It starts with the receiving antenna. In order to convert the RF signals to the DC usable voltage at the output, a rectifier circuit is needed. But and combination of rectifier and antenna is called rectenna. We know that there are different kind of rectifier topologies, but most of them use Schottky diode as a rectifier element. But the problem is the input impedance of these rectifier circuits varies with frequency and input power. And we know that in order to receive the maximum power from antenna to the rectifier circuits, the input impedance of antenna should be matched to the input impedance of the rectifier circuit. And since, and since the input impedance of rectifier circuits varies with frequency and input power, so it's a challenging job. And it may introduce insertion loss to the whole circuit and reduce the efficiency of system. After rectifying the input signal, it should be passed from a DC filter to extract the DC voltage and deliver it to the load. As mentioned, Designing a matching network in this system is challenging since the input impedance of rectifier varies with different parameters. In most applications, in order to increase the density of receiving power, area structure is used. But they need a combining power network that add complexity and insertion loss to the design. Meanwhile, lumped element is another way that can be used to do that. But lossy characteristics of capacitor and inductors at higher frequency especially make some problems. In this work, a new way has been tried to eliminate the matching network to prevent the mentioned problem. This method provides an option to design array structure configurations to collect more power without need to design a complicated combining network. And in general, it can lead to more power conversion efficiency. In this figure, you can see the difference between the conventional RF energy harvester systems and the proposed one. In this method, patch antenna and rectifier should have the identical real parts and opposite imaginary parts of impedance as we said, in order to get the maximum power from antenna. At the first step of the design source tool simulation, using Keysight Advanced Design System software is used to determine the optimum load resistance and input power to attain the maximum efficiency of rectifier circuit. Then harmonic balance simulation should be used to determine the input impedance of rectifier circuit at desired frequency. In this work, we have used to 
we have used the non-radiating patch antenna as the array element and is designed and directly connected to the rectifier circuits. Non-radiating edge fit technique has been used for patch antenna because it gives an option to attain a wide range of impedance with minimal impact on radiation efficiency. As we said, the efficiency is the most important parameter in designing uh, RF energy harvesters because we are going to deliver the maximum power to the load. In this figure, you can see the configuration of array rectenna. Schottky diode SMS 7621 from Skyworks is used as a rectifier element. Its impedance is denoted by ZD and is obtained as you see, and there is a real part and imaginary part. The imaginary part of Schottky diode impedance is capacitive, so we need an inductive compensation to be added to the circuit to compensate the capacitive part. A real part of ZD should equal to the real part of patch antenna impedance. An imaginary part will be compensated by the additional transmission line that is located after the diode. The length of this selection should be lambda over 8 since the shortest circuit transmission line with this length can create an inductive impedance. Meanwhile, at the same time, it can reduce the effect of the second and third harmonic. Real part and imaginary part of antenna input impedance can be adjusted by changing the fit point and the antenna width. As you can see in this figure, for the chosen dimension for antenna, the real part is the same as the real part of the diode impedance and imaginary part is around minus 4. Using the lambda, 8 over, lambda G over 8 microstrip line with a parallel resistor and capacitor that can act as a short circuit in desired frequency 2.45 GHz, provides completely inductive impedance. The shown equation should be met to, the, to get the best matching performance. As mentioned, power conversion, power conversion efficiency is the most parameter of RF energy harvester systems, as it determines how much power is transferred from receiving antenna to the load. And as you can see here in this figure, it depends on load resistance, that by source pool simulation, 500 ohm has been chosen and received power. For proposed work, maximum efficiency of 71.4 is achieved by adding by applying 5 dBm input power and as you can see for 0 dBm input power efficiency is still more than 50 percent at the at the 5 dBm input power 1.1.2 volt output voltage is obtained and this amount for 0 dBm input power is around 0 0.5 volt as illustration after the maximum power efficiency, it starts to decline. It comes from the diode behavior when it's exposure to the high power input. In this region, harmonic frequencies and intermodulation products appear and make a great contribution to decline the system efficiency dramatically.